Hey everybody, looks like we are finally live. It was not easy, but we got it done. Thank you so much for coming here and hanging out. So only four minutes late. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, four minutes late. So you got to give me a little bit of leeway here. So anyway, looking at this here, let's see who is here today. We have Mr. Leahy. How you doing? Mr. Roy from Color Graphics is here. Blue, how are you? It's always great to see you. And we have John John Diekman. How you doing? How's everything? Merry Christmas. And we have Patty. How you doing, Patty? And John Payne. How you doing, Mr. John? Good to see you. And let's see who else is here. Paul. Always great to see you, Paul. And Jesus. It's great to see you. So we have a nice, healthy group here already. So we have new software, no more old software. Out with the old, in with the new. That's what I say. Well, I don't say that, but that's what I'd say now. So what I can do if I show you, I could make this really big so it looks very nice. And I believe... Uh, so I'm having right here. I have my My villanelle here and I can also fix the color. She's looking She's looking a bit sepia funny. I should say sepia next week Sepia is actually going to be available on my website. So how exciting is that everybody? So that's really very cool. So I'm really looking forward to that the sepia that's that's something that's going to be great it's going to be something that everyone can use to go ahead and paint with sepia and not have to worry about all the headaches that comes with it you know how to mix it what dilution how to get values all that is going to be taken care of you can taken care of for you and you're just gonna go ahead and just have fun painting so how, how amazing is that? So now I have my color here. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bring back the normal color. So let's do that together. USB video and right over here. We'll go with effects. Okay, so now what I can do is go to color and light. And I want to change my saturation down so she's not so yellow let's see there we go now Jody's talking okay right there is about right I would say okay great so now I'm a happy happy live streamer so let's go ahead and see if I could make this big for me for moi Okay, so things are looking pretty good. So now we have my lemonade and we're getting set right now. Oh my God, Blue, thank you so much. Blue just gave me a $20 super sticker. You are the greatest. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, honey, so much for that. That is just amazing. It's so encouraging and uh I just want to say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. That is just, that's just amazing. You are amazing. And what a nice, what a nice Christmas live stream at the beginning already. And I don't even have eggnog or coquito. And so what we're going to do, so thanks honey for being so cool. That's, I just want to say that. Oh, I have something to show you. Speaking of how cool Honey is, look what I got. So this is, I received this from, from the mail today. And it's a Christmas card from Honey. How cool is that? Thank you so much. This is gonna, when I put my tree up, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna put this on my tree in a place of prominence. So 
How beautiful is that? Thank you, thank you so much. You all are so fantastic. Uh, Patty went ahead and gave me these really cool, I don't know if, if I, I showed them to you last week, but this really amazing, amazing uh, Christmas uh, Christmas ornament and it has the Ink Flingers logo, right? Which is just amazing. And then on this side, Go Extreme or Go Home, that's the Ink Flingers uh, fight song, right? So how, how amazing is that? Very, very amazing. So thank you so much for that. And I'm just gonna pull this up. So the color is a little bit off. So right, the color is just a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the color again. New program, new challenges, right? That's how I look at it. New program, new challenges. So I have this here. And so I'm looking at as far as uh, Patty's thing here. Patty's thing is red. So I'm going to go to effects here. And we want to change this so it's red. So I'm going to go ahead and go with color and light and maybe saturation. See if I can get that to be a little bit better. That's a little bit better, right? But now it's too dark. So I'm going to go to contrast and I'm going to lower the contrast a little bit. And now I'm going to go to brightness and I'm going to pull up the brightness a little bit. Almost there. But I think the contrast went a little south here. Let's see. So the contrast. And then I'm just going to pull this light up here. How's that looking thus far? Looking a bit better, right? And then let's go with exposure. Ooh, that's looking good, right, everybody? A little bit better. And let's go with dynamic contrast. So you get a lot of all this really cool stuff here in this new program and color balance let's bring the red up a little bit like that and let's bring this blue down nope that's gone too far there you go see how i got rid of the green that looks pretty good what do you all say so that looks better that's pretty much the color maybe a little more saturation Come here, pull up the saturation. That's pretty close to the color. Okay, sounds good. So, whoa. There we go. All right, so. Hey, nameless subscriber, how you doing? Good to see you. So now let's go back to business here. There we go. Okay, so hit save and close. And now if I close this, we are in good shape. Great. So now my screen is bigger, so I could share it with you a little bit better. I can see what you're seeing. And so let's load this airbrush up with the detail mixture. Because when you are starting, you know, for the first time of the night or day, you always want to warm up. You don't want to warm up with a darker mixture, darker color. You always want to warm up and come in with a light color. You know, don't be a cowboy, as I always say. Don't come in with guns blazing and everything like that. Nothing is achieved but headaches when we do that. And it wouldn't be a live stream if Tim can't find something, right? Let me see. Where is it? If you were a detailed mixture, where would you be, right? Oh, here it is behind something. So if ever I'm looking for something, invariably it's either behind something or under something. So here we go. So let's assess Jody here tonight. So I'm looking at Jody and what were we working on before? Let's see. So so I'm looking at her and I'm saying Jody. Let me get some of this glitter off of my work here. So I say, Jody, what do we work on? So I would say I would probably, 
Let's work on our hair a little bit, shall we? Let's see how that's going. How's the picture? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this picture on my big screen TV so I can see what you all are seeing. And if I'm gonna cry, and that means that um, you guys are seeing it. You know, quality is everything to me. And let's see. Almost there, just going ahead and looking at it on the big screen here. Okay, so she's a little blue, right? And I don't mean sad, she's a little bit on the blue side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fix that really quick. And so, hey Brad, how's it going? Good to see ya. So how you doing, sir? So, bear with me, my friends. We'll just put this here. Okay, so I want to get rid of a little bit of the blue, right? So let me go ahead and get a little bit of the blue here. And right over here, color and light and color balance. And let's just get a rid of the little bit of the blue. And I think that would, yes, yes. Let me see. I'm gonna look on the big screen. There you go. So now you all are seeing what I'm seeing. I'm happy. Oh, hey, Jewel. Jewel and Orit, how you doing? Thank you so much for the super chat. Jewel and Orit have this amazing channel where they inspire YouTube entrepreneurs to do much better. And uh, so if you get a chance, check out Esatino Media. They are amazing. And look at that little that little guy there with the number one fan. <laughs> uh, always looking forward to seeing you ladies. You guys are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So thank you so much for that. And uh, that is so great. So now here we are again. We're going to go ahead and uh, try this. But I just, you know, you know, since it's in a demo for painting it was just really important to me that you're getting exactly what you know what I see you know I don't want you to be like wow Tim's painting green people or something like that we don't want that definitely not so we're gonna go ahead and hey Colette how you doing so great to see you unfortunately this is glasses territory it was once a time in my life where I didn't have glasses territory but we are here so as far as needing glasses so thank you so much jewel and Ori, for the super sticker you all are just so amazing and they inspire me so much being a you know a youtuber and uh you know artist and everything as a full timer it sometimes becomes a very lonely endeavor <laughs> you know um Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. And uh, it becomes such a lonely endeavor. But when you have other people who speak your language, right, and and just understand, you know, like the pitfalls of, you know, trying to be an online entrepreneur and everything like that, uh, it's just so refreshing and just really, you know, really is so needed. I think... Right now, being an online entrepreneur is not the normal yet. We're still a little bit out there, right? We're still doing things that are, you know, a little bit avant-garde. But it's going to be the new norm one day. We're like the pioneers. We really are getting out of the confines of the cubicle, right? That's definitely what we're doing. 
Jesus says, John, how close are your color compared to the Gibson illustration color line? Oh, I'm, oh, I don't, um, I'm not sure what, who that question is for. I'm not sure. So we're just going to go ahead and just continue moving around here. Oh, I like that. That looks a little nice, the way the picture does. Just going to work on the hair. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a paintbrush. And we're going to uh, get some uh, medium, medium mix of the India ink, and we're going to work on the hair just a little bit. And these cups are fantastic. I like going to Walmart. Well, I don't like going to Walmart, but when I do go to Walmart, uh, they have these uh, mini cups with lids, which are great. And you just have that over there and I just go ahead and put some of my media mixture if you if you don't know I sell these mixtures the light medium and dark and the detail mixture and right now there is a code on my website for 10% off ink flinger 10 so uh, definitely ink flinger 10 and that would be on inkflingers.com so Definitely head on over to inkflingers.com if you want to try the Airbrush India inks that I use. I promise they're really fantastic. You're going to love them. So what I also like to do is I like to use a dry brush technique. So when I go ahead, I take the brush that has the ink in it and I just get rid of some of the excess water. And it gives you a lot more control because it's not beating up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and let's define this hair, shall we? A little bit more. Just go like right here, so you see that. See how we can just define the hair. So sometimes, you know, there's always the best tool for an individual job. And right here, no airbrush is gonna do what the paintbrush is doing here. So that's, so definitely, there's no, there's no point for doing a painting full airbrush. There really isn't. Um, no one cares but other airbrush enthusiasts. The main thing is just to create a work of art that is, is the best that you possibly can do. So we're just going to see how we're defining her hair a little bit more. And with hair, you have to be tenacious, right? Tenacity is everything. And uh, so everyone, how do you like the sound? This is new software that I'm using. I fired XSplit, they are fired. And now I have this new program. Is the sound quality good, the picture quality? What do you all think? I think I like it because I'm looking on the big TV over here and it looks really great. And no glitchiness or anything. Let me go ahead and change the... Oh, so right now, you see if I... Now, the shutter speed is pretty good, so that's good. So I'm very happy with this. Oh, thanks, Paul. Paul and, and Brad, thank you. And Raul, how you doing? Good to see you. Oh, Brad got the uh, package today. Fantastic. Good to hear, Brad. Good, good. Yeah, and you know, just know if you go on inkflingers.com, right? If you go on inkflingers.com, uh, I ship all over the world. So I just shipped a package to Brad in Canada, and he got it today, which is really great. So I just, I shipped a package to Germany not too long ago, Italy, France, South Africa. I mean, my airbrushes go, my airbrush and my airbrush India inks go places I haven't gone. So that's pretty cool. Good to see you, Raul. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, letting me know how the picture quality is with my new software. You know, we have to constantly keep growing and moving. It's so important. 
really is. And I'm going to keep moving. Let me see if I can get a piece of. It's always good to have a scrap piece of paper that is the same paper that you're working on. It's always good to do that. <laughs> Brad says they 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 snapped a package they put the package on a snow goose for further delivery from the border in Canada that's pretty funny and let's let's be tenacious and just stick with this So I went on uh, Coast Airbrush live stream today, and it was really good. Um, it was really fantastic. So I really enjoyed it, and uh, so that was pretty good. So definitely check out Coast Airbrush. They are on. They're on Wednesday nights, like I am, and they're on at five. And usually it's five to eight. Theirs went a little bit late today, but. Uh, you know, it's a little bit different than what I do, but that's different is good, right? We want variety. So, yeah, they were doing something with uh, uh, chrome on uh, chrome and candy colors on metal, if that interests you. It's on Facebook, and it is, it's Coast Airbrush. So check them out, everybody. They're really... They really did a great live stream tonight. It was very informative and entertaining. So definitely check those guys out. What was really cool is they had Chuck Foss on there, right? Chuck Foss, uh, he has that uh, overhauling, I think it was. Is that the name of the show that was on, on cable? So a very big celebrity in the uh, custom airbrush world, right? So yes, 8 p.m. Oh, thank you, Blue. 8 p.m. Very good. So yeah, a lot of us uh, who are here right now are was at the coast. So it's a good place to go to coast and then come on over to here and, and hang out and just continue talking about airbrushing. And, you know, like I said, we're different, you know, as far as subject matter and the way we do it. But you know, we have far more in common than we have not in common. So let's embrace all the different avenues of, of airbrushing and, you know, and we could learn from them and I know they can learn from us, you know, they could learn from the fine art people doing it and then the other way around, you know, so, um, Ah, oh, so Brad uh, just purchased one of my Extreme Patriot arrows, and he says it's working perfectly. Thank you. Oh, man, that's great. I really put the airbrush, uh, when I when you order an airbrush, I really put it through the ringer. I actually paint with it for at least an hour and really, really uh, test it out and make sure that it is in top condition. So important to me. So Jesus said that Coast Airbrush tried them but never returned my email. So, uh, so Jesus, what did um, what did Coast try? I'm sorry, I didn't see the what was before. Hey Mike, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks there, Mr. Mike. You know, you guys have a lot of talent. I learn just as much from you as you all are learning from me. You know, it's that symbiotic symbiotic relationship we have, you know, in this community. I learn from you, you learn from me, um, you know, and I, I just think that's 
really the life thread, the life's blood of this community is the mutual learning, right? I think that really is. Well, you know, we just have to, we just have to be patient with everybody. I know I get crazy busy and I want to return everyone's email and everything like that, but you know, sometimes things get crazy. So, uh, I'm sure, you know, Dave Monning's a, a good guy. Check him, uh, you know, maybe call Coast Airbrush and see if, uh, you know, it might be a misunderstanding of something. But definitely uh, try and get a hold of them. I know they're there from, uh, I think, Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 at least. So give them a call. Maybe even leave a message with, uh, uh, leave a message with their, one of their customer service representatives. Or you can even just IM them, which is really good, right? So definitely. But I know that as far as the airbrush world, you know, after what happened to, you know, Tony Hill and everything, and just an amazing artist that we really, we really have more in common than we don't have in common. And so, you know, coming on to the new year, 2022, uh, let us all be more united. Right? I just think it's really important if we're all united. We're all trying to advance airbrushing as much as we can. You know, we have Steve Leahy out there. He's doing amazing stuff. Um, you know, sharing great technique and, you know, just, you know, contagious with his, his passion. And that's, that's the thing, you know, it's like, with the passion and everything, that's so important. Um, so now we're working on her hair and you know, we just, there's a lot of voided areas, a lot of areas that don't have much, much going on, you know, as far as detail. So we're just going to change that a little bit. So when you're doing hair, so let's do the, the blowing up thing right so let's say we're doing hairs right about let's see going down see right here there's not much happening now what we're gonna do what we are going to do is we are going to just start putting in some detail here now when we do it we don't want it to look like spaghetti, so you don't just go all the way down. You kind of stutter it. See how this comes here, then, you know, not equidistant, some going in different directions, some overlapping, and doing stuff like that. See that? Just just some, some overlapping, and then we'll come in with the white. But we want to really give interest where there is no interest. Definitely, Steve. You keep going. You inspire me. You you push me to go. Same thing with Dave Monning. He pushes me to go with his innovations. And it's all about innovations. And I see what, how amazing my students are doing, you know. Uh, you know, we have John and Brad and Colette and uh, Roy. You guys are amazing and you inspire me every moment. So, so let's just keep inspiring each other. The world out there is negative enough. They don't need any more negativity. So let's really buoy each other's confidence, right? Let's be e each other's champions. And ask the question, what can I do to help others? Right? What can I do to inspire others to make their job easier? And I think that's really, really important. Ah, oh, thank you so much. So Brad says he likes the resolution on this software. That is great news. Thank you. That makes me feel good that I made the right decision. 
But the good thing, we don't have to worry about this kicking out. This is going to stay really crystal. I mean, really, I'm not going to get kicked out. Oh, thank you, Blue. You inspire me. I really love the work you're doing lately. It's just fantastic. And you know what? Blue, your energy is really fantastic. Um, the energy is just really contagious, you know? And that I love. So keep doing that. You inspire me to keep going. Because, you know, we all run out of gas sometimes, don't we? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I don't know how to say that in Russian. And so, so Nameless says... Uh, or the profession is cursed. Nah, nah, this is a fun profession. I just don't know what it is, really, but I'm part of it. <laughs> what is it you do? I have no idea, but I enjoy it, right? That's how I feel sometimes. What do you do, Tim? Well, I do like 20 different things, and, uh, and I'm juggling. That's what I do, professional juggler. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank you. I appreciate that. Jesus says I do, uh, yeah, that's a bot, you know? So I, it's interesting what those bots do. Uh, but I think it has to do with uh, working on the, the algorithm or something like that, trying to extract money from, from uh, views from, from YouTube, I think. Oh, that's true. So Mike says, uh, it's likely just a lack of publicity for people who've been incredible art, artists for decades, then pop airbrush is popular again, and then the attention goes back to the best. You know, it does. You know, definitely good point there, Mike. You know, nothing beats, nothing beats effort and nothing beats consistent effort. You know, you're going to have the flash in the pans, but that's exactly what they will be, a flash in the pan. And they're the ones who, you know, you see them and they're, they're doing really good and then they just disappear. And that's not what we're about, right? We're, we're doing it because we love it and we're going to love it from the beginning. Well, I plan on being famous before I pass away. That's just want to make that clear. Um, you know, you want to... See, I came into the airbrush world already an established pastel painter, signature member of the Pastel Society of America. That's what the PSA means on the outside of my name there. And so I just wanted to reinvent myself. So what I did was... Uh, I just decided to go ahead and try this medium. But when I came into the airbrush world, I came in to enhance it, to change it. I didn't come in to be same old, same old, because when I seen, when I seen the airbrush, the work that was being done, I just saw all the possibilities and sort of the lack of the attention that the fine art world has or detail and tradition of the fine art and really thought that I could introduce that to the airbrush world and that was back in 2010. So since then I've been working on bringing my own background of fine art and oil painting and pastel and traditional traditional uh, painting methods and drawing methods and everything like that and bringing that to the airbrush world and that's basically what I've been doing you know <laughs> so Mike says that uh, let's see uh, oh Jesus says I earned enough merits and I'm famous in his book. Well, that, that's important to me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And yeah, so we got to quote John on that. And uh, let's see what else. 
So, honey, you have a 12 days of Christmas? What exactly is the 12 days of Christmas? I, and I, if that's happening, I want to be, I, I want to look at that. That sounds cool. See how I'm just, just working on that? I'm going to come back in and bring more detail to the hair. But it's not just voided out, right? We're just sticking with that, with her hair. The important thing is to get the direction of what's going on. What's the direction of the hair? And sometimes the spaces are more important than the actual uh, lines or shapes. So sometimes the actual spaces are more important than the positive shapes. So the negative shapes can be really crucial, especially in hair, right? And again, you see how I sort of stutter them and create more interesting hair patterns started last monday blue says and ends friday during the christmas theme picture daily oh cool i gotta check that out oh wow i'm out of the loop i've been working so hard lately i have a portrait commission and um, building a new website that's just gonna be for my artwork and I'm getting ready to launch the sepia inks, which is the sepia mixtures, which is really exciting. Very exciting. So see, just right now that hair we have to work on. We're going to dust over the hair as well. So it's going to really just look great. Well, we hope it's going to look great, right? Her hair is so complicated, am I right? And Mike says, one of the up and coming leather artists in his acquaintance teaches acrylic on leather using underpainting techniques that you show. Wow, that sounds great. Oh, that's really cool. And Rick says, uh, he has JSPS behind his name, stands for uh, just poor, ah, uh, no, you, you are a very talented artist, Rick, so. Uh, you definitely, yours should be very, you should be VTA after your name, Rick. Very talented artist. So I, I like that much better. Really love your work and uh, your work inspires me. So thank you. Thank you for being part of this community. And you're all like, you know, so generous to spend your time here with me and talk about art. And I really enjoy your time. And, oh, look at that. Roy likes uh, Honey's picture. Yeah, Honey does some amazing work, doesn't she? Unbelievable. And so Steve Leahy, have you guys checked out Steve Leahy's live stream? It is on Monday nights, and it is from Monday nights from 6 till around 8, and... He gives away artwork, I mean really amazing artwork, and he shares just incredible technique and just really inspiring. I know most of you already know him and know what he does, but if you haven't, it's a real find, and once you start watching it, you're basically not going to miss any of the, any of those nights, you know, you're going to, Monday nights at 6, you're going to be like, nope, got to see Steve's live stream. So definitely check that out. Just, just incredible. And then we have Bill Snagan. Bill Snagan, Snagan, I'm not sure. But he has Tuesdays at 8 most of the time. And he is just incredible too. He does a lot of the techniques that he learned at Drew Blair's. So if that interests you, I want you to check that out. You will not be, you will not be sad about it. You'll be very happy you did it. And you can thank me later about these two live streams. They are really fantastic. Uh, Blue says that she is... Uh, Blue, Blue says uh, she's a feed geek. No, you're a feed princess. That's what you are. And uh, so always glad to see you on everyone's feeds. I haven't used a quill yet. I mean, lately, uh, just been 
A good idea perhaps later in this painting, it would be good to see. Yeah, on this one I haven't. Uh, just trying to get more definition in her gloves here. And so I see we, we have more definition in the, hand, in the hair. And right over here, see like there's so much going on over here. We just have to make sure we, we, we put that in. Because right now it's just like a voided area that just looks yucky or bland. Not that Judy, Jody Comer could ever look bland. She's amazing. Have you seen her in other movies? I mean, she's just the cutest and deadliest at the same time. Sort of, you know, attracted to that kind of woman like a, like a moth is to a flame, you know? Not always the best. <laughs> Not always the best decision, but oh my God, right? It's so funny. There we go. And see how we're just getting some interest in that, in those hairs there? Not just a voided area, even though we didn't realize that it was empty. But once we put something in, we're like, Tim, that was empty, you know? Right, exactly. That was empty. You're welcome, Blue. You're very welcome. I think I will come in with the quill. That sounds like... A smashing idea there, Mr. Brad. So let's put a little bit of a little bit of oomph in her glove there. There we go. And put this down. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Bring that glove forward. That's what we gotta do. So I don't give you guys a choice as to what you want to see, but do you want to see a black and white portrait or do you want to see a sepia portrait for the next project I'm doing here? So right now, the first 10 are going to be the deciding factor. S for sepia, BW for black and white, go. It's up to you. First 10 decides it. And I am going to actually, we are going, I'm going to write down the first 10 and see if it's going to be sepia or is it going to be black and white. Dun, dun, dun. It's up to you guys. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So six, seven. Oh my God. So we got seven sepias, and oh my goodness, look at that. So eight sepias, nine sepia, oh yeah, sepia kicks butt, so I don't even think it was close, right? That was, so it's great. It's going to coincide with the, with the availability of the sepias, the sepia set, and so that's really exciting. That lemonade was only 10 calories. How good is that? That's good. New Streamline Tim. Let's see. Nameless says he prefers black and white himself. Would love to see something in colors. Wow. So isn't that something, right? How everyone just loves sepia. So that was really cool. Paul, thank you so much. Paul with the super chat. Thank you, thank you, Merry Christmas. That is so exciting. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys and girls don't realize how important that is. Not only does it encourage me and boost me and tell me, okay, I'm putting my money where it needs to be, getting new live stream software when the old live stream software was dying. But not only that, I mean, you help the channel out. I can get little. I can get little things here and there, like a new webcam or something like that, to really boost the live stream. So thank you, Paul. That is so amazing. You know, that is absolutely amazing. So thank you, thank you. You guys are fantastic. So I'm gonna use the uh, freehand shield here. Freehand shields are wonderful. They are more than wonderful. They really save our lives. 
and we're just going to pull this up like that and you can see how the hairs are starting to really work let me get my water to wash my my paintbrush with Okay, so, hey, Brad, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Brad with the $20 Canadian Super Chat. That is so fantastic. Unreal. You guys just kick butt. So thank you, thank you for that. Like I said, that really helps boost just amazing uh, opportunities and possibilities for the channel. And uh, just lets me know that I'm doing the right thing with my live stream, that I'm on the right track, and that I'm offering something, something, you know, as good as everyone else's out there, but special, right? And that's what I, I really want to be the theme of today's live stream, is that there are so many live streams out there that are just really amazing right you know just really help to have artists grow and inspire them and keep them keep us artists all from getting discouraged like i said sometimes we feel like gilligan on the island don't we and then we have these live streams and you know it just i mean so many giving people you know when i was going to art school there was no such thing like that i don't think people would have been as giving as they are now. I don't think that would have happened. I just don't think it would be a possibility. Everyone did something in the art world when it pertained to, you know, either tuition or something like that. It was very rare that, you know, people just shared technique like they do today, which I just think is amazing, right? And so let's say someone just said, uh, someone said, uh, good night. Oh, Mike, you're leaving already? Uh, Mike, have a great night. I think that's so great that you stopped by. Merry Christmas. John Diekman, all right. $20 super chat from the great state of Wisconsin. Thank you, my friend. That is just amazing. This is just a great, great night. And... So let's chalk that up to the new software. We fired XSplit, they're out of here. We told XSplit that they can split. And now we have the new software. So this is amazing. Thank you so much, John. Look at all of this, just, just incredible. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, you know, and just being part of the airbrush community and, uh, you know, just all the really good vibes that are going on right now. Just incredible vibes, right? Really, really great vibes. And so, you know, Christmas, Christmas is interesting. A lot of times, um, you know, especially now with the COVID-19, you might not have, you know, someone to spend Christmas with or you know, or stuff like that, but, you know, you, you just gotta, you just gotta be open to, to doing the best and having the best time where we are, and I think where we are right now is just really fantastic. Hello, Pablo, Pablo Jr. Wow, thank you, Pablo, I appreciate that. He says I'm the world's best artist. Thank you, Pablo, I really appreciate that. So, yeah, this is just, uh, you know, we can all get down, you know, no one's Christmas is like 100%, you know, we've lost people, or we miss people, or, you know, you might, you might be, uh, you might want to be with someone, but they don't necessarily want to be with you. I mean, I'm talking about kind of negative things that, you know, we experience on Christmas, but you know, we have to be happy where we are, you know, so maybe one day when things change and some of the sad things in our lives become better, 
then we'll be so much more capable because we know how to make the best of the rough situations. How can how great would it be when uh, you know the great times happen? And so, you know, just hanging out with you all on Christmas is just amazing. Um, I used to have a family, you know, like uh, a family, and that went away. And you know, the Christmases could be really sad, but you know what? It's what you make it, and you guys are really making this Christmas fantastic for me. And I've been doing the live streams with everybody for over five years now. It's going to be five years. It's going to be five years. Think about it, guys. Five years in January that I've been doing live streams. Isn't that amazing? And so who says, oh, Coast Airbrush and Spray Gunner. You know, usually... I would I would weigh in. Ah, oh, thanks, Paul. I appreciate it. You got me, my friend. So so Jesus said coast versus spray gunner. And I think so so here's what I think we should do. I think since uh, there's only really that and Midwest, we should really support both of them the best we can. And I think that would be Oh, great. Look at that. John's uh, welcome to join our family for Christmas. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. Oh, that's great. See, that's that warms my heart, you know. And uh, But we should support both Coast and Spray Gunner. And we should basically uh, realize that, you know, we're such a small community that we got to make sure that we all survive. There's room enough for all of us. And so, you know, I'll make sure on this channel, I'll do my part and I'll, I'll say some good things about Coast and I'll say some good things about Spray Gunner and, you know, make sure that, you know, that we all just push each other and just make this airbrush community much stronger because we are such a small little tiny community, aren't we? And we have more in common than we have differences. Don't forget Midway Art Supply, Midway Airbrush, I think, and also Dixie, right? Isn't that a big airbrush company, Dixie Airbrush Supply? Ken, Ken is amazing, yes. So, so, oh man, my friends at Badger, I think Badger is, I have such a great relationship with Ken at Badger, uh, such a great friendship, and it's funny when... I'll tell you that story. I know I tell it all the time. But I called Badger up and I was like, so Ken, uh, well, no, I just called Badger up. And uh, and it's funny because I, you know, Ken's very busy and he couldn't get back to me. And I said, hey, I'd like to try your airbrushes. So one day I'm outside my house. I'm doing like yard work or something. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, really funny this big guy gets out of this suv tall guy looks like a linebacker for the bears right and he comes up to me he says are you timothy john luke smith and i'm like oh my god i must have uh do i know his girlfriend or something is he gonna want to fight me <laughs> you know i thought he was an angry boyfriend so uh so i'm like i didn't know she was your boy i, I wanted to say i didn't know that uh she was your girlfriend but honestly he comes out and hands me a extreme patriot and a sotar slim and he says my name's ken from badger and he handed in me the two airbrushes and since that day i've never met a nicer person in the airbrush world so if you all want to just support i think the nicest guy in the airbrush world you know definitely you know patronize badger even if you use their needle juice or or something like that i really say just a great bunch of people really great bunch of people and so and and create text yes create text is doing a lot of great things for the airbrush world definitely that's a good point stephen so without create text where would we be probably a lot worse right and so so if you do go and purchase anything with Badger, I want you to use this code. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Here comes the code for 15% off. Timothy 
PSA. If you use that code, Timothy PSA, not only will they be your best friend, but you'll get 15% off your whole order. And where do you get this stuff, do you, do you ask? www.usaairbrushsupply.com And there's the site. So, if you want to support a great bunch of people, very nice atmosphere, then definitely do that. That's, and then also, you know, uh, yes, Midwest is right next door to Badger. How cool is that? Talk about competition, <laughs> right? Steve says, yes, I miss his lazy on uh, Sunday afternoon. Ken is great. So if you ever talk to Ken, just say, Tim said hello. We at Ink Flingers love him. And, uh, you know, just the best guy ever. And, uh, yeah, so Create Tax is doing some really, really nice things. And we always got to put it in perspective. Like, I do different. I do different things. I work in my ink, so I'm in a different stratosphere. Not stratosphere, but because I'm not above, but I'm below. But I'm in a different, uh, a different area of the airbrush community. But that doesn't mean it's not my job to support them every chance I get. So, one of the things I do love, uh, well, one of the many things I do love about Createx is their illustration line. And how can I prove it? So, Tim, prove what you say, right? That's what you have to do. So, don't just talk, but show. So, as you see, I have the Createx uh 5050 illustration white and I use this as the main ingredient to my white mixture that I use for this technique so definitely um, a wonderful project a product now why is it wonderful well it was this particular paint the line was actually created with mr. Drew Blair and anything Drew Blair does is just incredible but you can, you can erase it, it's very erasable. So it's made with the intent of, of being able to uh, not have it just trap pencil lines. So that's why this is just fantastic. So this, and also, you know, I see I use their colors and everything. Wow, my colors are off here because this is showing up as orange. <laughs> And um, this is actually red, so I think that's funny. Anyway, so, so yeah, so we really have to stick together as airbrush peeps, right? I think we do. We have to stick together as airbrush peeps. It's so important. So, yes, you really should. Um, definitely want to wanna give uh, Midwest and also badger some patronage you know because what happens is uh if our community starts to shrink then our choices as airbrush artists start to shrink and i love what what um uh, miss honey does is that she supports almost all of the live streams and she's really helping hey mr steve lay <laughs> thank you so much my friend i appreciate that merry christmas what an honor. Steve Leahy, fantastic artist, just an innovator. You know, he just kicks butt left, right, and sideways. And for him to give me a $20 super chat, that is, that really hits home. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And let's see, someone said something back here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Midwest. And so John says, Ken may be the half owner of Midwest. That would be amazing. Ken's holding out on me. How could he not tell me this? <laughs> but yeah, uh, what I was saying about Honey, she, she ba basically supports all the live streams. And that's really, and I see that. And over the last year, what a great, great addition to the airbrush 
community, right? It's just fantastic. So, yes. So, thank you, Stephen. I really appreciate that, Mr. Leahy. Uh, this is just a great, great, uh, great boost to, um, you know, my enthusiasm and motivation, which is really, really important. Look at that. So, they definitely concentrate, John says, Midwest on Badger products. And everyone knows how... I feel about Badger, you know. I love the Badger and I love the fact that they're interchangeable and you can do a lot of different things. And the amount of airbrushes in their line is just really refreshing to have all those different airbrushes and everything. Like I said, the airbrush community is very small, so we really have to really just boost each other and, uh, there's room for everything, you know, there's room for Iwata and there's room for Badger and all those others. And even myself, maybe I should go ahead and, uh, you know, purchase a Pache just to make sure that I support them as well. You know, it's really, I think that's the best route to go as far as making our airbrush community strong, you know. Yeah, right? They're talking about, Stephen, uh, Mr. Leahy is talking about Badger with uh, this new airbrush coming out. I don't know what it's about either, so I, I haven't been privy to any information. So I'm not sure if it has to do with, uh, uh, whether it has to do with the uh, fine art world or the miniature or the custom painters. So I'm interested. So... Is there any word, uh, Stephen, as to, uh, Steve, when that's going to come out? Is there anything like that? I really should give Ken a call, so maybe I'll do that. Wish him a Merry Christmas tomorrow. But he's so busy, it's hard to get a hold of him. And let's see. <laughs> Paul says he's a turn into an airbrush. <laughs> I'm not going to say the word, but that's really funny, my friend. That's hilarious. You know, Steve is the man. That's for sure. That's for sure. So repeating what Mr. Pablo Jr. said. So Pablo Jr., do I know you? I mean, I haven't seen you on the live stream before, but the airbrush is a small world. So I'm not sure if I've seen you. Oh, oh, there's a, about the air valve. You know, I like their air valve. I think they have a good air valve, and it's nice and inexpensive. It's easy to come out. It's easy to work on, right? I do love that the, the valve is easy to work on. That's really cool. Uh, you know, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to be a technician to work on Badger's air valve, which is great. Oh, no, USA Airbrush is Badger, so that's true. So, so John, USA Airbrush and Badger are the same people, so uh, definitely. So, uh, good point, sir, good point. So, I'm just trying to get in here. So, Mr. Mr. Brad said something about the crow quill, and I cannot... I cannot resist the quill. Let's see. Let me see. Resisting the quill is pointless. But the quill is dangerous. <laughs> you know, why is the quill dangerous, my friend? Let me tell you why the quill is dangerous. Because the quill could spill. Oh, that's nice. The quill could spill on your artwork. So you got to be very careful. All right, let's see here. Judo, I'm going to make sure that it is, I'm getting juice. Let's see. So the thing with the crow quill, as you can see, you get the most beautiful, thinnest lines in the history of, of man. Look at this. 
that's really beautiful and thin. Let me let me zoom in. The magic of DSLR photography in live streams. Okay, so watch this. I would say don't try this at home, but I want you to try this at home. Look at that. Isn't that just just fantastic? Doesn't that just make you happy? That you can do really small things like that, you know? Oh, Pablo says he's been absent for a while, had a car accident. Oh, man, are you feeling better, Pablo? Uh, I hope you are, and so sorry about the accident. Mr. Willie! Yes, Willie, are you off for Christmas? It's always great to hang out with Mr. Willie, let me tell you. He's been with me from... The very beginning, and just thank you. I want to give a really quick shout out to Willie. He he has been there from the very beginning when there was only like three of us. And so today we are going to paint the crickets that we hear during the live stream. <laughs> that basically how some of the live streams went in the early days. And even now I'm not a big live stream. We're only like 17 concurrent viewers or something like that. Nothing big or anything. One more day of working. Fantastic. So three-day weekend or four-day weekend, Willie. Uh, hopefully, I want to hear four-day weekend. That would be nice. So you see here, we'll just come in here and just get these really beautiful. So you see how these voided areas are becoming unvoided areas when we're coming in with the crow quill here and just and then we're going to come in with some some lighter color maybe with the Mr. Fonz and Porter will make his appearance here in the painting just so beautiful So great, so great. I'm glad you're doing well, Pablo. Fantastic. That's something to be very thankful for. I'm thankful for that. And are you getting to airbrush again? And, uh, you know, I hope so. You don't go back to January 3rd. That's fantastic. Oh, man. One of these days, you got to come sit into one of my classes. You know, Willie, that would be great. So let me know if we can make that happen. You just sit into one of my classes. And so now with this, I can do some really very cool techniques, especially with this crow quill and some of the details in her glove, especially on this side. Let's see if we can make this happen a little bit. It kind of dies away and then comes back right about here. Comes down. Over. And how we're going to make this happen is we are going to put the corresponding light with it. Just pull that down. And now we can get the Fonz and Porter. Let me just put this over here. And we can start putting in some of that white, you know. And wow, look at that. The extended Brad's holiday till the 10th. How incredible that is. That's like, that's like summer vacation, my friend. And Pablo says, uh, we need to support each other. Yes, two surgeries on my dominant elbow and just practicing. Oh, yeah, so so definitely, um, you know, you have to just work your way back, right? And, uh, you know, your, your passion for airbrushing is evident, and just work your way back and take your time. There's no rush, and be easy on yourself. So as you can see, I'm just going to come in with some of this little bit of 
the the lights that are corresponding with the stitching here stick with it everybody you know tenacity what is tenacity tenacity is working when you don't feel like it tenacity is working on something that's not going right and you stick to it that's tenacity and that's what you all have and that's it's contagious so we're going to work on on that glove right over here and you can see there's little spaces Remember, less pressure, just like the airbrush, right? When you put the airbrush down and you, you pull back on the trigger, more pressure means you're going to have more pain. Same thing with anything. If you're using, uh, you know, using the pastel or Fonz and Porter or your pencil, more pressure would be more media, right? So the more you put down, the more that you're going to... To get so if I put light pressure I'm gonna get less of this Fonz and Porter and you see how we can make that glove start to pop and that's what we want to do same thing here and really be you know really pay attention like crazy just pay close attention. Now it's starting to look like a glove. A little. Same thing here. that's a little too powerful and whenever you get overzealous no problem just take your handy dandy kneaded eraser and you could just calm that down just like that which is really great yes never give up as artists keep going definitely my friend and uh, we just gotta keep fighting and keep keep pushing ourselves keep innovating keep finding new ways Strike out on new territory. Don't be, never be happy with the status quo, right? You never want to be satisfied with the status quo, ever. So just keep going and notice and know that there's other people in the airbrush community that are rooting you on. And that's what we want to do. And... Put some of these highlights in these this hair here as we're going a little bit of an ADD you know in a sense but that's the way you want to work you want to move around you don't want to be too pigeonholed into one area so keep doing that keep moving around yes we're working on the gloves right but still we want to make sure that we're moving around enough just come in here and now we can come back in with our detail mix and remember a painting is never finished it's only abandoned so there's always work to do right always always so we want to keep going yes this is the final stage my friend uh we this is the first time we ever went to 10 thank you so much paul i appreciate that Yes, this is the first time we ever went to 10. And, um, and I'm happy, you know, because, you know, there's no rules, right? If it needs 10, it'll have 10. If it needs 20, we're going to give it 20, right? So, you know, it wa I was like, ooh, it's going to be 10, right? Uh, right, Willie? But I'm like, you know what? I didn't want to do anything outside of camera, right? Because if I did do anything outside of camera... I felt that you all wouldn't learn as much. So I made sure that I stayed true to, uh, you know, 
keeping with the program and not doing anything off camera so you can see everything. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and just look at the recording of the live stream. So this is a great, great resource for you all. I really think that it's something that you can look at. Ten different. Now, yeah, I mean, live streams is going to be some air sometimes when I'm fooling around with the camera. But you can always speed it up, right? Always no problem. Just speed that up, you know? Oh, so uh, now uh, Brad gets to spend four days looking after his granddaughter. Wow, that's so fantastic. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. You get to spend time with your granddaughter. So that's a wonderful thing. And isn't that fantastic, right? So, yeah, I mean... Work is good, but when we're, we have free time, it's even better to do stuff that's, in, yeah, that's important on a personal level. See how we're going to start trying to get some of the texture of her gloves there. And we're just going to keep going, you know. Oh, yes. Well, the Badger, I would have to say, you know, Badger is great, and I love them, and it's their DNA that I love. I really think that they're on to something. Sometimes in simplicity, you can do great things, you know, and I think that's what it is, is that, you know, they have a great concept on the simplicities of design with them. And, you know, like the A-10 Warthog, you know, how that plane just works. I feel that's what's going on with Badger. So, definitely, I really think that's happening with their stuff. So, let's come over here. And I'm just going to just continue putting in some of these errant hairs here. See how we can have very light and put more pressure. And we can have lighter hairs, less pressure. So any of you guys out there into digital art, so you know about pressure sensitivity and how important pressure sensitivity is with digital art in the tablets. So that's something I learned from, from working in digital art is the pressure sensitivity, which is so important, you know. Uh, Internet connection could be acting up. Oh, let's see. Uh, so someone is that Jesus says his screen went small. Looks like a thumbnail. Uh, I'm looking right now on the big TV and on here, and I'm okay. So I think it might be with your guys, uh, with your guys' program because I have it on YouTube on my big TV. It's still big. And then it also is still big on my computer. And I also have it on Facebook on my PC as well. So, so if anyone else is having trouble, what I would probably do, it could be YouTube that's messing up. I would probably go ahead and, you know, turn it, you know, close YouTube and open it up again. That might be a good idea. So give that a shot, guys. Uh, oh no, the sound is good. There shouldn't be any issues right now. So if I would, so let me go ahead and check the sound. Okay, I'm going to check it on over here. So everything's okay. So I think it might be a problem with uh, your YouTube. So uh, what I would do is I would close out of YouTube and bring it back. So, so yeah, so definitely it's not a Tim issue. Might be a YouTube issue. So, uh, you know, it's, that's why it's good in my living room. My living room is over there, not too far. And so let me see if I can show you. Nope, I can't. So it's over there. So basically, um, I can see it now. So we're good. So uh, I hope everything 
uh, gets better for you, Mark. So we are, we're gonna keep plugging, right? Let's keep going and we're gonna just work on it. So definitely close out of YouTube, open it up. That should resolve your issue. What inter interesting times we live in, right? You know, that we have YouTube and everything like that. How crazy is life? Oh, cool. So Cali Pablo says, Cali hears me. Yes, that is great. And so everything is good. Uh, Roy says the sound quality is good. So thank you guys. And uh, so sorry, everything is kind of uh, uh, a little bit crazy. So, um, you know, with your sound, but keep plugging. I definitely would turn it off and turn it back on. That should resolve the issue. Okay, so we see we worked on the hair a little bit more, which was nice, right? And let's get our, let's go ahead and dust this down a little bit. So you see how we can dust some areas and bring it down and push areas forward and de-emphasize, you know, with the airbrush together with the pastel to do some really interesting, very cool stuff right and we're just going to continue doing stuff like that and let's see so like right here it's a little a little strong so i can just come in with the detail mixture and just calm that down maybe put a little shadow on this hair here there we go look at that isn't that great now one of the things i was looking at this painting right and I was saying that her head looks a bit flat right down here so I think it is looking a bit flat but I'm going to do two things I'm going to attack from different areas I'm not going to attack Jody I'm just going to attack the hair right so I'm going to start with the um, aggressive eraser and I'm just going to just widen the hair here. See how it comes out more? I didn't realize that at first. So you see how that comes out. And I think it makes her look even sexier. Let's see. Oh, where did you go, Jody? Okay. And you see how it comes out a little bit more. And it's a little bit more unkempt. Uh, right? I love that kind of cute and same thing here I can first do it with so we made this really wonderful dark background and now we could you know erase and get some really nice errant hairs here and there look how see it's not so pushed down right and I like that it's not so pushed down and then we'll come over here like that so this painting is for sale if anyone is interested. Um, it is $150 and I will frame it. So if anyone's interested in this painting of Jody Comer, let me know and I would be very happy to, to sell it to you. It would be great for your collection. And the fact that a painting is in the live stream and is on the internet makes it more valuable which is cool. So if you're interested in purchasing, let me know, okay? And let's see. Oh, Mark says she looks sexy as ever. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, sir. And, uh, you know, it's not much to, to make Jody look sexy, I'll tell you. Hey, Mr. Mark, thank you for the, for the $5 super chat. Amazing. Ah, oh, that is so great. Mark, I just want to thank you so much and um, for supporting the channel and, and giving me the encouragement to continue. 
This has been the most successful uh, live. This has been the most successful as far as live chats yet. Uh, which is amazing and thank you uh, Mark for continuing that trend and this is just really wonderful and um, you always encourage me and so just thank you so much uh, Jesus says nicely uh, nice Tim an American collectible item thank you I appreciate that I hope one day that you know my collectors are, you know, well, you know, feel really good about, you know, purchasing one of my works, you know, as a, you know, an investment. You're investing in an artist, right? When you purchase some piece of artwork and everything. So, but Mark, thank you so much for the wonderful and generous super chat. I just want to say, uh, you know, it's, it's stuff like that that really keeps me going. And as you see here, I'm doing some of the innate designs on on this uh, deadly uh, hairpin that she has from the, from the show. That's wonderful. And let's see if we could just put in a highlight here. There we go. I love it. Love it. And just pull this up here. Oh, we have some nice highlights to do on the lower lip. So let's see if we can make that happen. But really, we have to pay attention to what we're doing, right? It would be easy to go on autopilot. But we have to really, really watch what we're doing. So... So how wonderful, you know, you all have supported the channel, you know, with the super chats. Hey, Omas, good to see you. How are you? All the way from Sweden. So that's great. So a week with Tim. Um, oh, you mean like, um, you mean like in my classes? There we go. So now it's time for her, the lips. This is a tricky area, but we can do this together. <laughs> English says so one time, $150 super chat. That's funny. You're a funny guy there, Nameless. Oh, I'm sorry, from Berlin. Oh, okay. Viva Germany, okay, Deutschland, right? How do you say it, Deutschland? Did I say it correctly? Uh, oh, my one-on-ones, that's a month. So $100, so there's several people who are taking my class right now. You have Brad, you have uh, uh, Roy, who is uh, color, uh, color graphics, you have John, and you also, who else is, uh, is my students when they take my one, when they take my, uh, so this is a good sign. So when my students take my one month uh, class or mentorship, they usually just keep renewing and stay with me. I have somebody here who has been in my mentorship program for two years in come January. I have several. Uh, who have been with me over a year and it just keeps happening like that because you know it's a great place when you're in my mentorship program to have that continuity we meet once a week and and it's just fantastic and you know I could help you grow as an artist and share a lot of techniques and and all different kinds of of uh, principles that really help you so definitely that's why the students pretty much stay with me because it's all about the students development and it doesn't have to happen you know in one day but it's the continuity it's the it's the continuity it is the consistency 
It is uh, working together, being on the same page. And that's the closest thing to being in a real art school. I really think that my mentorship is like being at the National Academy or the Art Students League. And I think it's the only thing out there that is close to that. You know why it's close to that? Not because I'm giving any kind of sales pitch. It's because I studied many years in the art schools in New York, right? And, oh, look at that. Willie says that he'll take her. Oh, wow, yes. Jody Comer has sold. All right, Willie. So we sold Jody Comer, and that's so very exciting. Thank you. And what I'm going to do, Willie, is after the live stream, I'm just going to do some finishing touches. And then, uh, then we'll frame her up for you. And then we'll, uh, we'll talk about uh, the invoice and everything. And I have your address so I can get her out to you ASAP. Thank you, Willie. I appreciate that so much. So this, this painting looks really great in person. Uh, so you're going to really enjoy it. Thank you. And now you're going to have the original and, and Willie, you can, you can take the original and have it next to you while you watch the live streams. And I could, uh, you know, give you pointers on reproducing her. So that's a great all around purchase. And thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. So... Uh, Mark says, love every ounce of beer. <laughs> oh, so Jesus said he always wanted to go to Germany. So, yeah, Germany is beautiful, beautiful country. And let's see what else. Uh, Nameless says, the next one. Nameless says, here's an idea. If the super test add up to 150, Tim can... Uh, Tim can action, auction one of his paintings to those who sent... The super. <laughs> That's a cool idea. Perhaps next time. And uh, so, so cool. How exciting is that? That Miss Jody Comer is going to Willie. So that makes me happy. So if you're ever looking and you're not getting a proper proper atomization or something. Don't continue on your artwork. Take it off to the side. Do some low-hanging fruit. See if it's one of the issues of perhaps tip dry or something like that or air pressure. So always make sure that you don't test stuff out on the actual artwork, right? See, now I'm getting perfect flow. So that's what you want. You want to make sure that you're not testing it on the actual artwork, which is cool. Brad says, I got the first one he watched me do, vintage. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, Brad has uh, two of my paintings in his collection. Thank you for that, sir. And we have these little, tiny little wrinkles in her lip here. We're just going to put that in. Over here, we have some slight indentations here, just like so. And we're just going to do some texture here. And now let's come in with, uh, not, not Fawns and Porter just yet, let's just use our sandpaper. It's 80 grit sandpaper and I take the uh, Whoop, let's go back here. 80 grit sandpaper. And what I do is I take uh, the Pit Pastel White Pastel Pencil Medium. And I just deposit that. And then I get a one of these bad boys, which is a stump or tortilla. And I'm just going to pull up some of that white pastel. And I'm just going to very lightly... Remember, light pressure light application right so remember that that's the mantra light pressure light application and really pay attention to what's happening here right really pay attention 
and that's going to oh that's really bright so let's move this bad boy over here like that and let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing and so think Vermeer let's not think Revlon right so let's think uh, paint like Vermeer let's get the large shapes and let the eyes fill in let the let the viewers eyes I know that's a, a radical concept but let the viewers eyes fill in the blanks right I think that would be a, a good approach if it's good enough for Rembrandt and Vermeer it's good enough for Tim that's how I look at it we have a little bit of highlight where we can come in with Fonz and Porter and put some moisture on her tongue so one of the things I really love about this painting is that it looks so amazing in person uh, some look better in person I look better when they're photographed but this is the opposite the photograph doesn't quite do this painting justice and so when you see it the way it looks and shines it's really wonderful you know and let's see what you guys say uh, oh so who's saying good night oh sorry blue have a great night merry christmas and uh oh you were on a call okay you're back that's good and someone was saying good night uh patty oh patty have a great night thank you so much for hanging out and don't work too hard tomorrow uh oh jesus says that uh blue misty uh painting <laughs> uh yeah so willie so Blue Willie actually bought this painting, which is so exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited when my work is in the collection of good people. And I know it's going to be well regarded. And that's, that's what all an artist can ask for. Right? That's all we can ask for. See how when we're doing the, uh, these little highlights that we're looking at the direction, not necessarily anything else but the direction is really important and let's make sure we get this shape correct there we go and we have a little bit of light poking in here and let's see uh, what time we have it's a you know I'm having so much fun tonight I forgot to look at the time so I didn't know whether it was 10 30 or you know 10 15 it's almost it's eight it's 11 11 here in the uh in the northeast so you see i want to make that chin turn the light is coming from the upper part and to the so it's coming from in front of her above her and to the right so that means anything to the left below uh is and behind is getting the shadow so you see how there's more light here so it is building up light here because this part of her chin is actually facing the light most directly so you see how by doing that we make her much more three-dimensional same thing here with the lips this part of her lip is getting more light by doing that we're going to make that lip a lot more three-dimensional and we're just going to pull her teeth over here just like that and look at that so i really am happy with that and let's see well i'm not sure what they're doing as far as the um um uh, you know those little things that says vassive tech and all that i'm not sure what that's about it's interesting isn't it i gotta look it up see what they're doing so let's do the little highlight on the eye here just like that give her a little bit more life right not that she needs it she's an amazing person to paint I can't tell you how what a pleasure it was to paint Jodie Comer and I have a feeling I'm not going to stop painting her I'm going to paint her again just an amazing actress would love to meet her one day that would be amazing and so on the bottom of here a little bit of reflected light 
on this part of there we go a little too strong but I like it anyway so I'm just going to tap it with the needle eraser to calm that down and I think that's cool and a little bit uh, on the overzealous side here so I can just tap that to calm it down And we have a little buildup of pastel, which is the buildup of the white. So I'm just going to do a little touch up on this. Uh, and then I'm going to ship that out to you, Mr. Willie. And so that would be great. And so I just want to, I just want to make sure that I crossed every I and dotted every T. Nope. I crossed every T and dotted every I. <laughs> I always do that. That's hilarious. Again, overzealous. Just. Just calm that down with the needle eraser. There we go. And so let's see what I missed here. Uh, oh, Brad says I keep taking him to new levels. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Mark, um, uh, oh, two more hours. <laughs> Could you imagine? Hey, what's up there, Mr. Tone? How are you doing today? Good to see you. How's the uh, the ZV-1 uh, uh, How's that working out? Uh, really cool. So Mr. Mr. Tone bought a new Canon camera, a new, no, not Canon, but a Sony uh, for his uh, YouTube channel and, and Instagram and everything. How's that working out for you, sir? Beautiful camera, by the way, at least from my standpoint. I don't have it, but, you know, would love to get my hands on one of them and let's see maybe a little bit of light right here just have the moisture of her tongue just like that love it and let's see what else we can do okay let's go ahead and start hitting some of these highlights in her glove shall we Nemo says think Tim is in love. He has his lovely schoolgirl crush. I tell you, if I did have a crush, it would probably be on Jodie Comer. She's amazing, isn't she? She's she's just incredible. But no, I mean I I I ad admire her professionally. I really do. But she's married, so she's off limits. I think I seen that she was married. See how I'm just going to try and get some of that little squiggly lines of the texture of that glove. And like I say, it's always the spaces that are missing that are just as important as the spaces that you see, right? So, um, Tone says uh, it's good. He's looking to add on. Wow, that's great. And let's see. Uh, oh, Bridget Regan. Oh, fantastic. She's great. Yes. And uh, Mark Webb goes Jody. Jody is. Oh, so Jody is Mark's next ex-wife. <laughs> that's pretty funny, my friend. That's hilarious. That's a good one. I love doing the eyes, as you can see. And let's see if we can maybe do a couple of really neat little eyelashes. So someone asked me, Tim, are you nervous doing tiny eyelashes? Uh, in a live stream and I have to say no because I practice them all the time so it's just like practice so that's why I say practice 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 see how I can do that because I practice so much I can pull that off on a live stream
So remember, that's one of the things you'll learn if you take my mentorship class, is how to practice, right? Because practice is great, but if you have a directed practice, that someone's going to give you direction on what the best way to practice and how it can get you better, that's even better. That's taking your practice to the next level. And that's something that I teach in my... I'm like a coach. That's why I call it a mentorship program. I'm a coach in the development of your art. You as a painter. Uh, not, only as an, not only as an airbrush painter, but as a painter in anything that you can translate in any medium you decide not just airbrush i give you the tools to have incredible airbrush control but i also give you the tools to work in digital art to work in uh work in pastel work in all the different mediums so that is what you're going to get from me that you wouldn't get from other other teachers you know Oh, thanks, Tone. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, sir. See if I can get that. There we go. We got nice. We have focus in here. Let's see. We'll bring this down. So we've got to make sure we get enough of the eye there. And let's see if we can just one second rule. Let's make sure we get that amount right there. But like I said, this, this painting just looks so gorgeous in person. It really does. Here's another thing. Let's say you have the eye, eyelashes and you don't have uh, quite the, you know, the negative space, right? You can do it two ways. I like doing it with the Fonz and Porter. And so we can just, we can get in there and just create some really nice, negative shapes and we're just going to drag it over and you see how light it is when we drag it over as opposed to you know really draw them in so we just want to drag that over and really reinforce the direction of her eyebrow hairs see that now it looks kind of funky right there but when we zoom out that looks tight right and you can always lighten it by taking a little bit of your kneaded eraser and you can calm that down. But in reality, it really comes together. Let's do that with the other eyebrow as well. So that's a good tip. And let's move on over to eyebrow B. And too bad you can't see what I'm doing with pure ref and how it you can really see so so far the new live stream software do you really feel that it is hey shana how you doing good to see you and mr steven well uh steven's a bot and shana's a bot oh too bad too many bots uh what would we do without steven russell <laughs> I don't know what well, you know, but why is he picking my live stream? You know, that's the question I have, you know, and what is that? Is that a code for something, right? I would like if they put something like eat at Joe's or, you know, don't take any wooden nickels. That would, that would be a cool bot. You know, at least it would give us some advice on life. So cool. So as you can see, so you see right here where it might appear to be a little bit overzealous and I'll show you what you do with the kneaded eraser and how you can just tap it. You don't get rid of it, but you calm it down. Same thing with this hair. You can tap it. You don't get rid of it, but you calm it down nicely. See that? And you can just leave and then have variation in that. Not just see how if you if you keep the line straight up, oh, I lost my Fonz and Porter. If you keep the line straight, right, and you keep it all the way down, you see it doesn't look right. It looks kind of like spaghetti, right? But here's the trick. Hair doesn't work that way. Hair goes in and out. So it'll have, it'll have some highlights here and then it'll disappear. And then you'll see it again over here. So let's say if I went in with uh, my detail mixture, you see how I can kill it here 
and then have it reappear here. So right here, you can see we could have it disappear and come back. Same thing here. It really shimmers the way a lake does in the sun, you know? And because of the waves, you see that kind of shimmering light. And that's exactly what happens to light here. So it's more like you're going to have shimmering of light as opposed to just like a strong light source. Like right here, right? You'll have this shimmer where it breaks away and comes back. And you see how that looks much better. Same thing right here. You'll get those shimmering lights, but you won't get that light that continues. Again, right here. You see how I can just sort of break that up and then reestablish it? And doing that really gives the feeling of hair and coming in and coming out, right? So you see how, how that comes together and how she feels like she's alive, you know? Oh, Brad says she's getting uh, killer fine lines with the new airbrush. Yes, that is, you know, so just to uh, just interject. So Brad just bought uh, a brand new Extreme Patriot Arrow, the customized version of mine, and he's getting fine lines. And that's what it's all about is I take this airbrush and I customize it and kind of make this a super extreme airbrush. And not only that, but I test everything out. I test the valve. I test the pack valve. I test the head assembly. I checked. I checked the the um, the packing area here. Everything, and then I work with it for an hour, and I tune up that airbrush to it is perfect condition. I know all the airbrush companies are fantastic, and they give a great product. But I have to say, I'm the only place where, that I know, that, uh, that you can get something that is so fine-tuned and just take it to that next level. So, I know there are other artists who customize the airbrush, and I think that's great. But, uh, as far as me, I'm just excited that I can get an airbrush to somebody where it's just going to come right out of the package, and it's just going to work amazingly exactly the way I want it to you guys, you know? So, uh, so Mark likes the PS771. I heard good things about that, sir. Uh, the Blair, the Blair spring is really fantastic. I love that spring. Uh, it kind of loosens it to give it that kind of, you know, how do you say? It loosens it to give it that, um, kind of, worked in kind of quality which is really nice right we want that worked in quality so is the spring uh so oh okay so uh tone is asking about you know how much the spring is worth and everything and so brad actually has you have four patriot arrows don't you brad he uses them for you know the techniques that i do which is really great so I appreciate that so much. And I know Willie owns a couple of my Extreme Patriot Arrows. And so does uh, uh, Color Graphics owns one. Yes, so I'm really happy that I can create something that, you know, that makes people, makes artists really get control of the paint, you know. It's not control. A lot of people say it's airbrush control. I think an airbrush gives you control if it's fine-tuned and everything, but it's really controlling the air and the paint. But with that air, with that tool, with that correct airbrush tool, it just makes your life so much easier. And that's what it's all about. And that's what I originally, you know, worked on it, that I wanted to make it something that is going to give me killer control and, and not worry so much about what the airbrush is going to do, but you know, just make decisions to create better paintings, right? So I'm just going to put a little bit of light here on the edge of the lip. See how that works. So what a great live stream we had. It's 1128. We have two minutes left. So before everything ends, I just want to wish everybody an amazing Christmas. And thank you so much for making my Christmas week, this live stream, so fantastic. 
I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of the wonderful uh, donations today. You know, Stephen, uh, Steve Leahy, and Honey, and Brad, and Mark, and let's see, did I miss somebody here? Oh yes, Mr. John Diekman. Thank you so much for the super chats, um, for the donations. Really making me feel uh, very positive about 2022 and the live streams to come. And uh, thanks, honey. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Mark says, and for the water eclipse, the three he got the new trigger for. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Mr. Omas and, and Mr. Steve Leahy and Brad and Willie. And I'll contact you about... Uh, you know, the beautiful Jody Comer. And let me see, see here, I can calm down that a little bit, see how I can just bring that to line, back in line here. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring the, uh, the realism a bit better, not a bit better, but more intense. And so when, when this is ready, Mr. Willie, I will let you know and we'll get you all situated. So thank you for that. So a little more detail to do in this painting. Brad said she turned out spectacular. Thanks for another great live stream. Uninterrupted, Viva the new live stream software. And Sam, how's it going? Good to see you. Thank you so much, Mr. Paul and Mark and everybody and Raul and Colette and Honey and Patty and Everybody, just thank you so much. This was uh, such a great, encouraging live stream. We gave you a full two hours. I was still four minutes late because as I was wrestling with the software a little bit. We'll get we'll get it. So it's uh, maybe I'll start a little bit early next week. That would be good. So next week will be Christmas week, and we'll see how that goes. So thank you, everybody. Have a great night. And I really appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you, Omas. Next live stream is going to start a sepia painting. So isn't that going to be interesting? So now I have a week to figure out what to do. <laughs> Take care, everybody. You all are great. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to next week already. Bye, guys. Stay safe.